This is Claire and her student Anne. Claire teaches second grade. She loves her students, but sometimes it's a challenge keeping them on task. Recently, Claire has had the most trouble with Anne. Anne constantly gets out of her seat. She usually has valid reasons for doing this, such as asking for help, sharpening her pencil, putting something in the trash, or turning in an assignment. Claire knows that many times Anne makes excuses to be up and moving around the classroom. Claire wants Anne to get up when she needs to, but also wants her to spend more time in her seat. Claire isn't sure of the best way to accomplish this. After school, Claire stops into a colleague's classroom. She knows Jane has been teaching for several years longer than Claire has and hopes that Jane might be able to recommend something that will help. Claire explains the situation to Jane, who smiles and nods knowingly. Jane said that she had similar challenges last year with a student who was receiving ABA services. The BCBA had recommended using a technique called Differential Reinforcement of Lower Rates of Behavior, or DRL. Jane explained that Claire should create a system where either just Anne or even the whole class earns a reward for getting out of the seat fewer than a predetermined number of times during each block of time. Claire should determine how often Anne gets out of her seat now and set the criteria just below that. Claire thanked Jane and left to give this intervention some thought. Claire decided to stop at the dollar store on her way home to buy some supplies for a classroom store. She figured Anne wasn't the only one who could benefit from this intervention. Claire, Claire knew that Anne got out of her seat at least eight times during each 45 minute block of academic instruction time. Claire decided to set the first criterion at seven. Anne would earn a token if she got out of her seat seven or fewer times during each block of instruction. When she earned four tokens, Anne could choose a prize from the classroom store. Claire was optimistic when she arrived at school the next morning. She explained the intervention as a sort of game the whole class would play. The students all seemed excited to participate and eagerly checked out her purchases from the dollar store. Claire was always amazed at how excited her students got over simple treasures. Anne was as excited as her peers to earn the prizes. This worked against her at the beginning of the day because she kept getting up to look at the classroom store. Claire made a tally mark on the chalkboard to show Anne how many times she got up and reminded her that she could only get up seven times to earn her token. Fifteen minutes into the first block, Anne had already gotten up six times. Claire was nervous for her because that meant she could only get up one more time during the next 30 minutes. She watched Anne carefully and was surprised to see the effort she put into staying in her seat. In the end, Anne managed to get up only seven times during that first block. Claire happily gave Anne her token and reminded her that she only needed three more tokens to choose her prize. Anne earned her prize by the end of the day. Some days were better than others, but Claire was gradually able to change the criterion so Anne got out of her seat no more than four times during a 45-minute block. Claire thought this was reasonable and would keep it here going forward. Mm -hmm.